we've had a, a very um, old school rock sound uh, for a very long time and we just wanted to freshen it up. Um, I don't think it's really something that you can put in a genre like we, we used to be like old 70s rock down there somewhere over here. And, uh, and now we just opened the box and now everything is open to everybody. You can do what you like. You don't have to be uh, you know, super 80s guitar solos or you know, heavy rock or heavy metal. You can be super synths with super rock guitars and you know, what is that? I don't know. It's uh, Evolve 1, I guess. Definitely with this album we've done that, um, taking, taking a, a more mature approach. Um, and I think it was, was kind of a conscious decision, decision as much as it was a, a subconscious one, just part of the natural, uh, natural way things have, have grown. Um, personally, I know I've, I've grown up a lot, um, and that's happened, happened with this album. Uh, but as a band, we've we've moved in a in a real positive direction. We we all very dedicated to this. We've we're very stable in terms of our relationships with each other and understanding how we all fit into this and, and what we do. Um, we are still essentially a pop rock band, and uh, we and as a, therefore you know we appeal to a, a broad range of uh, you know both um, race and age. I don't think there is a genre for it. I think it's the it's something that, that we just we just created on the fly. Nathan did some work with, uh, he was in England for a while, so he, he didn't actually know much about this country, the country's music, uh, music scene. Uh, he was doing some work with Natasha Benningfield and Daniel Benningfield, um, and he had done some great stuff. He'd, he'd done a lot of pop work before, um, and obviously had some success with them. He had another uh, number one song, or a top 10 song, or top 20, whatever it was in England with a, another pop group so it was nice to bring that element as well into the into the rock um, and the more raw sounds of, of Evolver. You know, just uh, the difficulties that you have with, with writing with somebody that isn't in the band and coming and he's choosing songs that you think are good and you know, you know it is a difficult process for a band especially for myself. You know what, what he brought to, to the project was a, another understanding outside of the band and I think that's good to when you are working on a project and you get a bit close to it, you can um, lose perspective. And it was nice to have someone, someone on the outside bring new, fresh ideas in uh, on some of the songs we were working on. One this time round has taken every step it can to promote itself. I think we've got every angle covered from uh, TV to radio, magazines, uh, you know, TV interviews, radio interviews. Um, uh, we're going on tour you know, about five times this year. Uh, we've got international tours which will you know, bring more press uh, you know, coming back. So um, I think this time round we've got pretty much everything. Well, we're very active online. Um, we, we, we use all the social networking tools available to us. We have a website, uh, uh, which is um, evolver1.co.za, um, and you can sign up to the mailing list there uh, if you'd like to stay up to date with what we're doing. Um, we've, there's also Facebook and MySpace and Twitter. We're on all of those. We're not just playing in a band and doing this for music and fun. And as much as we're doing it for that, we're also doing. We've got something to say, you know, and, and we can say something. Uh, and understanding this platform that we have, we're trying to use it. So we've done a lot of work with with charities on the AIDS side, uh, on the cancer side of things, and we're going to look to continue those as, as much as possible. Uh, we actually were very lucky enough to get booked in Mexico. Uh, in August, we uh, we got a, a magazine article 
uh, something like the U magazine over there, a massive magazine, and uh, and we got an article and they called us Diamond Music, uh, and so we got picked up by a promoter. And we're going over for three shows in August, and then uh, we'll just move up and do a, a North American tour, a USA tour, and then come back to South Africa. Wherever we are in the world, we, we try to uh, we try our best to um, interact and stay in touch with our fans. Even though we're going over internationally and, and trying to promote Evolve One internationally, we'll always regard South Africa as our home. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of fans here, and uh, we'll never leave them. I actually, do think this will be our home no matter what. Also, if you've got a video, if you filmed the video at one of our shows, or uh, or you've had something interesting signed from one of the band members or we'd love you to take a picture of it and post it up on our wall and we'll, or, or email it to us and we'll make sure that it gets loaded up. Personally I feel that this is Evolver's debut album and I think it's great. Evolver won, we've got a new, we've got a new sound, we've worked with the producer, it's a brand new fresh product from the band and I think Evolver won, this is definitely for me a debut of the band. Hi, we Evolve One. Get a free download of our exclusive single, Are We Listening, at evolveone.co.za. We'll see you at the show, man. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.